And we're back for another video about the upcoming Warhammer Online private server Interbellum. And this time we're going to talk about armor and weapons. There's been a lot of questions from you guys uh, on the comments on YouTube. And thank you very much for participating uh, about weapons, uh, the style, why they're restricted, how armor is going to work and a couple of other things. So let's go ahead and see how everything is going to work. Let's start with the weapons. The weapons will have zero combat stats on them simply because everything has been redistributed among all the other item slots. Weapons will be entirely appearance items. All right, so you, there's no need to think the old way where they had stats, they had buffs, they had procs, nothing. Their entire appearance and they are restricted by your specialization. So if your specialization says you can use a one-handed axe, that's it. You can't use a two-handed axe, you can't use a one-handed hammer, nothing like that. Weapons do not influence the type of skills you can use. As long as you pick a specialization and it's part of it and you picked it, you can use it regardless of the weapon or what it says. They're not related to the weapon. So all skills are assigned by specializations. You will not be getting any skills through weapons. You won't be getting anything else. So focus on this because this is an entirely different game. On this rule, there's only one exception and that is the Black Orcs who have a base class mechanic which allows them to swap weapons. So if they're holding a one-handed axe, then they can hold a two-handed hammer as a switch. And finally about the weapons, there will be no auto attacks. That's something that belongs to the past, which also it's fair because the engineer has an auto attack. The Magus has only a melee uh, auto attack. Well, the engineer has a long one. Other classes could buff auto attack. Some of them couldn't. So now it's been completely removed and that will bring some sort of a balance into the game. Well, armor is also in a new system in Interbellum server. That means that we have no armor types. There will be no such thing as light, medium or heavy armor. All the pieces start with a initiate uh, innate armor that have a base armor on it. And depending on what slot we're talking about, it will have more or less armor. So a helmet will have less armor than a chest piece. The hands will have less armor than the legs and so on and so forth. Uh, also, the system will have some restrictions in the sense that uh, a blue item will have less than a purple. A green will have less than a blue and so on and so forth, depending on the item level um, that they have. Furthermore, when you get an item, because as we said before in another video, drops are going to be in the crates of goods and superior crates of goods, you might roll an item that's going to have one of the four affixes, and that's going to be extra armor, strength, ballistics, or intelligence. And if you roll the extra armor, then you get more armor in your items, but you're going to get a far less offensive statistics, and that's going to make the equivalent of heavy armor. So you're going to have to sacrifice your DPS for the armor, and that's how it's going to happen. Now, how is it going to get to acquire those gear or not? We don't know yet. Information coming in slowly, but at least we get an idea of the armor types. Now, the armor slots is going to be exactly the same. Head, shoulder, chest, belt, arm, feet, back, four accessories, and two pocket items. Now, when we come down to the pocket items, they will have no combat stats on them. There will be no, you know, ballistics, intelligence on them or anything like that. However, in general, because they talked about having one or two items, pocket items when they launch, but they're planning to introduce a lot more further down the line. The slots will always be two though, so you might have to pick something. But in general, when the server launch, they will be on use effects or procs that affect combat. What do we mean about affecting combat? It means that you're gonna be able to self heal, get a boost on your speed, uh, remove some CC and they will be generic pocket items to the ones restricted to your class. So that pocket system might give us one extra skill, one extra ability, depending on the class and specialization you're gonna have. But keep in mind just for this video that when the server launches, there will be one pocket item and it will be part of the examples we self we said self heal sort movement you know removal of cc something like that and further down the line they will introduce furthermore and a few final points about the armor combat armor pieces that you will equip automatically will apply an appearance based on your base class which means all shadow warriors will look the same or slayers will look the same all choppers will look the same all witch elves will look the same now, this appearance will always be the same regardless of what combat gear you equip, whether it's green, it's blue, it's purple, whatever, it's always going to look the same. Also, the appearance of the armor is class restricted. 
So like I said, everybody, the same class is going to look exactly the same. There is a mechanism in place where you can get appearance items and then you can change the appearance of your character, which you apply on top of the combat gear. However, they haven't specified yet how you are going to acquire those uh, items specifically, whether it's going to be uh, in, the uh, in the crates of goods, it's going to be a random drop, it's going to be through currency, we don't know yet. On top of that, just to answer a couple of questions, or at least one question that was uh, in another video I was on YouTube and say, the question was, are there going to be sets from the original game in Interbellum server? And uh, he was referring to gear above Sovereign that we've seen on the previous server. There are no sets in Interbellum set, uh, server. There are no sets on the Interbellum server. It's only individual pieces of item. There's no two items give you extra strength or three items give you strength and vitality or three items give you this and that. It's individual pieces with stats and that's it. Um, hopefully we can get the looks and the appearance items so we can transmog our gear. But take away from your mind that you're going to get this set and it was giving you this bonus, that bonus, shields, armor, and this skill and that skill. This does not exist here. So that's all the new information we got about the weapon and the combat armor is that now they're starting to get a little bit more into specifics how things gonna work let's hope that they're gonna keep the information flowing so we're gonna get our heads around the new way things are gonna work about mechanics about statistics about gear about everything including how the campaign is going to progress and what you expect so um let's digest what we have so far and let's hope they're gonna start the testing soon so we might get some gameplay i'll see you on the next video <music>